So today we're going to try something new. We've got on board Tracy. 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 Not Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously this is why I'm Skip, Tracy Bradbrook's TV and new Trace is Trace. We're going to try something new today and I found these little clips on one of the um, one of the um, websites and I thought they're quite cool. They're very little, they've got a nice little swivel on them. They've got a 30 kilo braking strain so that's the weight on them. So we're going to try these squidding today. Just click the top of this. Now this is a new way. I learnt this in Port Lincoln. So we're going to make a bit of a trace. <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> trace? <laughs> we don't need four Another traces. Trace. <laughs> right, we, I don't want to make this too long because then it's going to be a little bit tricky. So what we do with this is we tie a sinker loop in the bottom. Like so. Put a sinker on just to give it some weight. So we're actually going to bottom bounce for squid. Oh. Huh? Never heard of that. Can you uh, imagine that, girls? Bottom bouncing for squid. No. Right, so this is how it works. We put one squid jig about here. So we just pinch a hole. Oh, you're right, squeezing? So we, just, we just squeeze this through here and put the squid jig through. Yep. And uh, just pull that up. We do need to make sure that we put this a little bit tight so that it doesn't slide up and down. Alright, one there, one here. Different colour. Where's that interesting dark green one? And right, again, we just push that, pull that through like so, like that. Tight so it doesn't move around. This one here, we can probably have a little bit lower to the bottom if we can get it to move. If not, we'll see how it goes. Now, I will demonstrate this, right, girls? Because we'll get everyone's sorted. So, what you do with this, just drop it to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Right, when it's down there. Wind it so it's tight, just lift, and then it'll float back down. And you're letting the sinker go back onto the bottom. Just lift. Yep. And then you go back down. Maybe right. a bit Alright, I could get your other ones. There you go, Trace. Oh, I've never heard of that before in my life. <laughs> So a good thing with this is to try a variety of different colours, see what works on the day. We do have a few Lumo type ones on purpose and we have a few old fashioned ones as well that I also got from online. So it'll be really interesting to see how these ones go. So what, these ones don't what, have any... What do we call old fashioned trays? So these are the old fashioned ones. Ah. So they've got no weight in them. They, oh. they have not got a little hook on the bottom either, but this one's a Lumo, so that will show up on the bottom, and uh, we'll see oh, how these okay. go. Okay. Right, so four more rods, three more rods to set up, and we'll bring it to you when it happens. Yep. So, Tracy B, what do you think of the new bit? <laughs> um, I lost my bit. <laughs> my bit fell off. <laughs> Okay, so for those viewers who said that's not going to work, they're going to lose their rigs and everything, guess what? You were 100% right. <laughs> We've not even been out here for 10 minutes and Tracy B has uh, lost hers. So, two squid jacks down the gurgler. And she's on again. That, saying that, we're catching some right. squid. Yes. Yeah, okay, so. we're gone. Bye. Uh, what colour lure is doing it for you? Uh, that one was the orange one, and I didn't drop to the bottom. I could see him oh. swimming, so I just stayed mid. Midstream. Midstream, and yeah. What the fuck fish is that? Old. Fish orders. Oh my gosh! Oh, no. Instead of the rag. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll be bugger. Can, can you actually display that on the camera, please, uh, Trace, and tell us what oh. it is and how no, it's going to work? <laughs> Catch me a fish, and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Little Squidly. We ended up with about seven squid, and we're not too sure as to why it was so unsuccessful. Does that only work in Port Lincoln like that? That could be so. Or were there just no bloody squid around at all? Metro turned up a beautiful day, even though it was cool. We had great company, great fun, great banter. Now the following day, we went King George Whiting fishing. 
And that was a different story, but we'll bring that to you in another clip. Just a girl, 